Hello everyone, Justin G. Hill back with you again. We are back with A2K episode 12, Character Evaluation Rankings. I'm wondering how this is going to go and how they're going to rank character evaluation. This is very intriguing to me. Um, but uh, yeah, we've still got, I think, five people left to go, five girls left to go to uh, interview. I wonder if any of them are going to be alone. I mentioned that in the last episode, or if they're going to do like a group of three and then a group of two. Uh, so I am intrigued by this. And uh, yeah, I'm wondering how many more episodes we have left. I wonder if they'll do two or three episodes for the group and then, you know, maybe a couple of episodes for the, the final the final thing and where we're going to go from there. So very intrigued and the intrigue is continuing to build as we go along. So uh, yeah, it looks like we've got a short episode tonight, but that's okay. I'm interested to see, you know, how these uh, evaluations are going to go, what the final thoughts are going to be between JYP and can't remember the guy's name. I'm sorry. But anyway, if we're going to go ahead and get into this link to the original video will be in the description below. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as you see fit. And let's get this started. This is called the character evaluation. I don't feel like I'm seeing you. I don't like to show my vulnerable side. It's like, oh, if it happens, it's great. If not, I'm fine. I feel like this is, this is my dream. Wow. <laughs> Makes me understand what I saw for the past five days so much better. Okay, next two. Hello. Hi, Kendall. Hi, KB. Hi. So, a uh, little bit of information of both. Let me start with Kendall. Uh, you finished top five in vocal and dance, especially dance, you finished second. And even in the star quality evaluation, you were the top two favorite talents voted by all the staff in the evaluation meeting. So, you're doing this well, but Regarding, Regarding favorite, favorite future, future teammate, teammate uh, you, didn't you didn't get a lot of votes. votes. You didn't, didn't get, get a lot, lot of votes. votes. Actually, you finished last among other contestants. Why do you think that was so? It's a tough question. That's tough. It was like it's a shock to her. Right now, maybe I focus more on, on herself. Trying to specifically help us grow and maybe not get to know people enough personally. See, I would kind of be that way. I really would. Hello, it's Kendall. So. Today was the day of dance evaluation. Do even better next time. But it was very nice being with everyone today and I was very happy to be with a group of people who share the same dedication as me and they are really hard workers and they're all super nice and friendly. Kelly, uh, if I had to pick a talent that who seemed most passionate with the most drive inside them, I, I think you will be first talent that comes to my mind. So, am I seeing you right? Like, do you have that like fervent fire burning in you? Yes, yeah, um, so, so I look, I look very, very, like, cute, cute and bubbly, bubbly on the outside, outside but, but I have, have this very, very, if I'm passionate, passionate about something, something I, will I will keep, keep like, doing, doing it until I reach my expectations. expectations. Being, Being, having, having such high, high expectations, expectation, I think, motivates, motivates me to work, work more. more. So you're, you're the, the only one contestant who cried when you didn't receive a stone. Ahead 
at the beat the whole time. Can you try to explain to me what, what happened? I'm not sure. So the reason I cried during the vocal wasn't because of what you said, it was because I knew from the moment I ended that I did so much worse than what I could have done and when I practiced. So like I was just so frustrated that I, I don't know, like my emotions just kind of burst out. How would it go if you know you see you know your teammates not living up to that potential that they have? Actually, I don't think that would be a problem because uh, for others, my expectations aren't as high as the ones I put on myself. No, I get it. It could be a great motivation. It could be a great drive for you as long as you channel it in the right way. Can you tell us a little bit how, what type of teammate you are and you will be? Um, I think if I get into this group, I will be that mood maker. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang everyone watching, okay? It doesn't go. I like to see the go from. It happened to be two years. Hey, we're practicing out. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> Melissa just tried the sausage and is choking. Yeah. Hi. Because I'm always very, like, bubbly. And I think if everyone's like feeling down once we're like done practicing, everyone's like just worn out, I think I could like hype everyone up and keep like going. I love to hear that. Yeah. That's awesome. Great. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Great to meet you and hopefully see you for a future interview with your group. Very interesting personalities. I'm so excited about their drive and focus and motivation because both of them they're highly competitive i can see that if i had to pick one talent that is the best at expressing the deep emotions when they sing or dance is kendall kendall interesting kelly is it's so obvious how competitive he is. What was your impression about it? I just loved seeing that energy, that enthusiasm. It was really interesting to watch their dynamics in particular. All right, the next two. Hello. Two or three? Okay, it's three. I was going to say. First, uh, let me give you a little bit of information about Camila. Uh, you're able to speak three languages. But one thing that was most surprising to me was your vocal performance. All you need is some confidence that you could just hit those notes, knowing you can hit them. I think for the auditions I was very nervous and my falsetto was very shaky because I was very nervous. It was my first time like singing in front of you. So because you told me to work on my high notes, so I was like, next time I'm gonna make sure that I can hit those high notes and that he sees improvement. So you were voted as co-number one favorite feature teammates by your peers. Number one? Really? I think Camila. I chose Camila. I chose Camila. Uh, what do you think that made your peers love you so much? <laughs> well, first of all, I'm very, very thankful for that. I think the main reason is because since I'm one of the oldest girls, um, I always try to like take care of them, and I'm always like cheering them up whenever they're dancing. I'm like, yes, oh my god, you're so good. When someone's sad, I always go and talk to them, make sure they're fine. I want to like I always want to make sure that they're happy and they're motivated so I feel like that's why like I'm always helping the girls yeah no. oh, don't worry listen you were amazing and he said do not worry about the people that didn't get it no it's okay it's okay you did amazing you were so beautiful 
See, I really like seeing the behind the scenes stuff, and I know that they need to, I know that they need to, to focus on the task at hand and and really, you know, move everything forward. But I really like these behind the scenes clips because we get to see a little bit more about them and really, really kind of see a little bit of their personalities. Although everything is kind of picked, everything is everything is hand selected for what we're going to see. So to an extent, they are molding our view of these girls, but I. I mean, they're they're making it. They're making a show. They're making an entertaining show, and so they are going to do this and kind of drive home what narrative they want us to see and things that will support what is said and leave out the other stuff. Um, and there may not be other things. I might be over overthinking this, but I, I do like whenever we get to see the behind the scenes stuff and see what um, you know, see how these girls are. Oops, my fault. Well, I think I'm a very responsible person. I want everyone to be happy, so everyone's motivated, everyone's doing fine. I always try to make sure of that. I feel you, like, I get a different feeling from you compared to other contestants. I feel like you are trying to figure everything out. I was like that for 50 years. Like, even becoming a nice person, I figured it out. Because I never believed I'm that naturally nice, kind person. So I was trying to figure out how to become a nice, kind, caring person. Can you believe that? So every approach I had was like that. So, but I see a lot of that in you. Is that your personality? Am I seeing you right? I would definitely agree, yeah. So I'm just like, let me try and like, try and understand how you're thinking because that's how like I think. I think about how they're thinking rather than emotions first. So then I kind of like adjust to that. That's so me, that's so me. <laughs> I even taught myself how to empathize. Daughter of JYP. Daughter of JYP. <laughs> Where did that come from? Or when did you first realize that, like, I do need to kind of, you know, get into your world a bit more to better understand in that way? That's such a good question. That's such a good question. Oh, thank you. The only talent that's complimenting a question. Oh. It's, it's, yeah, well, that was good. Okay. Like, you're making me think. Or you're just doing it to, you know, give yourself more time. No, 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 no. But um, I think that definitely came from my mom. She would always tell me that like, when I was younger, like I grew up with three brothers. So I was kind of always by myself and like reserved. Yeah. And so I kind of grew up like not really interacting with people like in my home, kind of like the only child. Um, and so my mom, when I started getting like opportunities like in dance teams or like when I would take dance classes, like I wouldn't talk to the other girls. And my mom was like, you should try talking to the other girls. And then I would try and talking to them and then they would be like, why aren't you caring? And I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah, and so like it, I kind of pulled it out of myself because people would tell me, like they were like, you're not very caring. And I was like, but I want to be caring, you know? Well, and you know, props to you for even recognizing this is something I want to do, rather than I think a lot of people could retreat and kind of, you know, go into their own holes in that way. So I think it's amazing that you even could see that, you know, and I, and I love that you realized that and, you know, could tell that story. So thank you for, for sharing that. <laughs> yeah. All right, and uh, KG? I thought you really didn't have a chance to make the final member at the regional auditions. Let me tell you why. You had such a solid style fixed in you, and that was not what we were trying to do, especially in K-pop. I didn't believe you can crack it. And when you came back at the boot camp and started singing, I was like, no, no, that's not possible. A, a, a talent who was singing like this cannot sing like this. And could you tell me what side of you makes that possible? Because it, it, it's, it's not easy. 
I think because I, think I was so nervous, nervous for the regionals, the regionals that, that I was like trying to make everything perfect. Your comfort zone. But then when I came back to boot camp, I was more focused on just having a good time and being myself and being loose. And I took your advice to like always be you. So I think it's just like a natural thing. It's just like let myself out there. <laughs> Her outfit is really you know, nice. I, I see that star quality in you. I love the way that you express yourself. But I guess I'm curious, you know, what is going to motivate you to make sure that, you know, in that group setting that you really can, you know, make it happen no matter what? I think what's going to motivate me is my members, too. Because I, I don't want to, like, make other people look bad if I make a mistake. Mm. And again, like we're one, like we're a group. I just, I believe in myself, I do. I really do believe that I can improve and can get to where everyone else is. Nice, do, do you guys feel like you're one as a, as a team in that way? I think, you know, especially in the West, you know, we see these girl group show, boy band shows, you know, singing competition is very competitive. You know, you want to beat everyone. Yeah, not us. Not us at all. I think the biggest thing is on the first day when JYP had said that it wasn't a competition, it's like he's looking for improvement in ourselves and unity as a team. So, like, there shouldn't be that tension of it's a competition between each other. I feel like also, like, all the girls are getting along so well. Like, we're all having fun with each other and we all have chemistry. And so even like behind the scenes, like it doesn't feel like there's any competition in any way. It's a great experience all around. I really, really like these answers and I like so much how each of them are kind of contributing to this answer. It's almost like it was a group question without officially being a group question. And I do think it was a very, very big deal whenever he said at the beginning of the boot camp that 11 members could go to Korea. I think that was a really big deal. I don't necessarily think it changed all of their minds. I think that they all came in with the mindset to do their best and to, you know, make sure that the other people around them didn't feel alienated by by them like on an individual basis i don't want to make them feel alienated they don't want to make me feel alienated feel you know isolated and alone and oh well they're better at dance so they're just going to leave me in the dust and not help me improve not let me know how they think i can do better same with vocals and everything else so i i really like this the, the 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 team and the the group that they're building and like she said the, the chemistry that they're building together I think that's so important and I really like that they just that they just all fed off of each other for this kind of extended answer right here I really like that filling each other's missing pieces yeah they they help each other along ah uh, did anybody else see it? I want to know. I want to know if anybody else saw it. Right here. Right here. What are they doing? I got the feels for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what that is. I know what that is. I can't wait to see the group missions. I can't wait to see the group mission. We're making sure that we're helping each other because, you know, we're not the best at dancing or singing, so our performance as a group is gonna be good. You know that everyone shines and everyone's equal, so we wanna give a good performance as a group, not individually. These are three of the so oldest ones, sure aren't they? That's interesting. These are three of the oldest. Great. No, three no of the oldest girls. Just costumes, <laughs> girls on the ground. Okay, great. Well, I'm really happy to hear that. And yeah, looking forward to hopefully having another interview with you when you're in the group one day. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Good job, guys. Thank you. I really like how they food look the fed off of each other. Sticks out. Oh, I mean, to be honest, I, I really like that we got all three of them together. But, you know, I, I think KG, you know, right from the start, you know, just the way she expressed herself, the way she spoke, I thought was uh, very, you know, lots of star quality there. Camila, like, shaped herself into, like, almost like a larger than life artist, you know, just seeing her, you know, it was almost like watching like the beginning of greatness in that way. I thought it was, she was really special and I love the way she spoke. And then of course, 
with Christina, like she's the only one to compliment me on a question. Um, I think um, I, I love the way that she kind of, you know, opened herself up a bit more. Also, definitely has that experience, but also has a really interesting mind. All three of them, I thought, were some of like the best conversations we had all day. All right, Jeff. Thank you so much for helping us out today. Of course, of course. There will be no better person that will rely on for this mission. All right. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was helpful. I'm really excited to see how it all goes and enjoy LA. All right, so I, I can't wait for the interview that you would do after they debut, okay? Please promise me, yeah, that interview. All right. Thank you. Like, I want the scoop. I want the first, I want the first interview with the group. <laughs> From, it's, it, it's from each other too, right? And from the staff as well. Oh dear. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that's, that, I, I, can, I know that these girls are really, really, really nervous right now, but like, just hurry. I'm sorry. It, it, her reaction just tickled me. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, how was it like doing your first interview rehearsal? I love Savannah's smile. I'm really I really do. that you guys were able to answer all those questions extemporaneously. It was so much better than I thought. Good job, guys. Every one of you, you, you did so well. I was so proud of you. This is, uh, since it's not a small thing in K-pop, we did our best to see what it takes as far as, far as your, your attitude, attitude to become a K-pop star and live the life of a K-pop star. So there were three different elements that were added into the evaluation. Interview, teammates, and staff. First, the interview that you just did and the response I got from Jeff. Second, the number of votes you got as the most favorite future teammate. By so Kendall's not getting the stone today. She had the least votes. Kendall might not. She also helped me a lot with my dancing. I've just spent the best time with them and I can be myself, 100%. I love everybody though. So Kendall's not getting the stone today. Yeah, you can see her face. And she got the third, least votes. Votes from the teachers and staff regarding your learning, passion, and drive and attitude. So those three elements mixed together, we selected the top five finishers, evaluated as number one. Interesting, you started at number one. Top four vote getters by your peers, the number one vote getter from teachers and staff. And also a great response from Jeff. Number one finisher is Lexus. Lexus. Cool. That's really cool. Okay, so what's what's she missing? The dance? No, dance was first. She's missing the vocals, right? Yeah. Dance Dance was first, vocals was second. So she's missing, she's missing the vocal. I was happy that I was able to show not only a side of me where I danced and sang and performed, I also showed a side of my genuine self. Second, also one of the top four vote getters by your peers and finished second in voting from teachers and staff. Second place goes to Christina. Christina. Okay. Hers is flipped around. I can't I can't remember what all she's Okay. 
So she's also missing the vocals. Finished third, also one of the four top vote getters from your peers, and finished fourth in votes from teachers and staffs. Hmm. She is the first with all four. All four stones. All four stones. KG or G. And it's fixed as the final candidate to go to Korea. Interesting. So KG or Gina, right? Or Kaylee, or Kaylee. Kaylee's got all three, yeah. And Camila, I forgot about Camila, I'm sorry. It's not gonna be Kendall. We already know it's not gonna be Kendall because he said top four vote getter from the other contestants. Third, as the final candidate to go to Korea. That's awesome. Is she gonna start crying? Yeah, yeah. She's she's ready, Katie. Congratulations. <laughs> That's awesome. So the group evaluation doesn't matter for for someone that gets all four right now. Is that is that how that goes? I I, I wondered. I, I've wondered this from the beginning because I didn't know how much that would play in. Because you you've really got to have that chemistry with your other with the other people moving around and, and working in, as a team throughout the dance. Now, she's a good dancer, but that's 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 something that I'm very intrigued about to see how they work in a team. I think it was Christina that was in a dance team already and Savannah, so I think they'll be fine, but someone like Camila, I didn't know. Aw. Oh. You can really enjoy your final performance because that <laughs> yes. will decide you're going to Korea or not. <laughs> but but she's gonna want to do well for her other teammates. That's a really impressive achievement that you have done. Thank, Thank you. you. So proud of you. I feel like I'm closer to my dream. I will definitely keep working very hard to achieve my dream and to improve. She finished sixth in vote from teachers and staffs, but also one of the four top vote getters by your peers. Ranked fourth, Savannah. Okay. So she's just missing the vocal. Yeah, I'm happy I got it, you know, really fulfilled. The final phone recipient in this evaluation finished eighth in voting from teachers and staffs, but second in the okay, so it's among not peers. It's not Kendall. Not Kendall. Yuna. Okay. So Gina and KG both got the first three and they didn't get the last one. Holy cow. Holy cow. So how do you improve? How do you improve on your... It's not going to be easy for them to improve on their character. That's probably the most difficult thing to improve on, I think. She's got a, Savannah's got a great smile. She's got a great smile. So as I mentioned before, at the final performance, all the stones can be given. And knowing that all of you have a chance to become the final candidate going to Korea, hope you're still motivated and not discouraged. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm looking for Kendall, KG, and, and Gina. Those are the three I'm looking for. You got it! Does it feel real? It doesn't. It's an awesome idea. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. That's the whole point. That's the point. Okay. <laughs> We're trying to get our last one. Yeah. Marigo. <laughs> Marigo. I can't wait until Thursday night. All right, stopping there. I can't wait until Thursday night. I'm hoping we get two episodes for the group mission. 
I want this drawn out. I don't mind the drama. I don't mind them taking their time with this. I'm enjoying this so much. I hope you guys are too. Uh, tell me what you thought. I'm surprised that neither... Well, the, the one that I'm probably the most surprised by not getting a character stone was probably KG. The second that I heard that Kendall didn't get... Uh, that she was the lowest voted among the other contestants, I thought, okay, she's not going to get this one. Gina maybe surprised me a little bit. Um, but at the same time, it, it wasn't it wasn't just the greatest interview ever. But I, I guess I thought that she just had the whole package. I thought, I thought Gina had the whole package. Um, Kaylee's drive and motivation... Uh, made me think, and her, her interview made me think that she might make it, uh, but we didn't hear any mention about her, other, other contestants, or what the staff thought of her. Same thing with KG. I guess the same thing with Gina as well. He only really mentioned the top five. He didn't really mention how the, the other voting went um, for most of the other contestants, I guess. So that's intriguing for me, and I, I really want to see what happens next. I, I, I can't wait for, I'm assuming Thursday night, because this is Monday night. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that. Let me know who surprised you the most that didn't get a character stone. Like I said, minus KG. Um, I want to know who you thought down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to the next one. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here on this. Jesus loves you. I love you. We'll see you in the next video, and I hope you have a great day.